Did you know that Snapseed has a dark mode or a dark theme? I just stumbled across that today myself because this wasn't the original video that I was supposed to make today. I was gonna do a Snapseed tutorial showing you how to do something else. I stumbled across this and mm, it looks so good when I activated it that I scrapped my other plan and I'm gonna do this video to show you how to do it. I figured if I didn't know about it, there's a good chance that a lot of you didn't know about it. So if you did or if you didn't, go down and leave a comment below and let me know yes or let me know no. You know about the Snapseed dark theme. If you didn't, you're in for a real treat because this looks amazing. You know what? Just let me show you what it looks like. So you can see now that Snapseed is open. I can tap anywhere to open up a photo. Right out of the gate, you can see that it looks different. It is in dark mode. So I'm gonna go in and find a photo really quick to load up. I'm gonna tap on that and you can see that all of the tools are also set for dark mode. This is absolutely fantastic. It looks great. It's so easy on your eyes. Look at that. Look how awesome that looks. Even if I come into curves, I'm gonna go into the settings here, right? All of these look amazing. Look at that. So this is the official Snapseed dark mode. Everything looks amazing as you can see. It's really easy on the eyes. This actually reminds me a lot of the Lightroom app that comes in dark mode, looks fantastic, easy on the eyes. There's so much to talk about in terms of apps that have dark mode. And look, I love dark mode. Everything dark mode, I want everything to be dark. I like my screen mode like I like my coffee. Just putting that out there. Okay, now once you're back into Snapseed, it's as easy as going up to the three little dots up on the right-hand side. Tap on that, you're gonna see settings. Tap on settings and right on the top, you're gonna see the dark theme. You can toggle that on and off and this is gonna go back to white or it's gonna go back to dark. This is amazing. I, look, I'm so excited that I found it today. That's why I'm making this video to share it with you. And by the way, while you're here, go through and make sure your format and quality is set at 100%. Because if it's not set at 100% and you're exporting images, you're actually going to lose quality by exporting those images out if it's set lower. And if you want absolute lossless, make sure it's set to PNG. If it's set to JPG, you're actually gonna have some image quality loss when you export. If you wanna learn how to make content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, or just learn about cool tips and tricks like this that you can do with your smartphone, go ahead and hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.